At least the cutlet does some good to them. You do not. Oh, Risley, shut up. I made the reference to the unspeakable voice of the Greeks. Electra! My elder slept! Paul! Stop when I speak to you! How dare you bully your mother, Maurice? You ought to be horsewhipped. Swaggering about instead of begging her to forgive you. She comes to me with tears in her eyes and asks me to say something. But now don't answer me, sir. Don't answer me. I want none of your speech. Deep breath. He ought to spend the year travelling instead. The old lady, she says, Oh, would you most kindly of your goodness post this for me? What's your name? What's your name? Every day for bloody 18 months I went up to that front porch for orders and the old bitch don't even know my name. I swear to her, what's your name? Fuck your name. I didn't read it was at Cambridge. Yourself, you could marry tomorrow if you like. Come, dress yourself. We have to ring twice. Twice. You're coming back very soon. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, old man. Take this one, Doctor. Pity, sir. Things always go better with a gentleman captain. Oh, dear, sir. Mud on the carpet. I'll send someone up. I am Mr. Boridius. Alec is one of my parishioners. I've come to give him a letter of introduction to an Anglican priest in Buenos Aires in the hopes that he will be confirmed after landing. Very kind of you, sir, I'm sure. May I speak frankly with you? I'm far from easy about Scudder. The fact is, he has been guilty of sensuality. With women. <laughs>